Hello everyone, it's Melanie, and I am here today with a junk journal haul kind of thing. I went to the antique mall um, near my house that always has some pretty good stuff, and um, sometimes there's a, a booth that has ephemera and old newspapers and things like that, and she sometimes has these bags of goodies that's just like a, you know, lot, I guess, of old stuff. So I bought this one today and I just opened it. I just took the plastic off. And um, so I thought we could go through it together and I can show you what I found. Um, so it looks like there are quite a few uh, old photos. My husband is gonna love these plane photos. He's a pilot, he'll love those. So, a number of photos. Looks like some of them are duplicates of, that looks newer, duplicates of the same photo. Oh, and these are signed. To a little something with love. Much love to you, Rosemary. guy with a horse. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that is a velvet coat. How pretty. So there's quite a few photos in here. I love, because I have a background in fashion, I love looking at the clothes. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that little boy in a top hat. It's a strange photo. Paper, the paper's odd. Hmm. So, let's see. There's a World War I soldier, I guess. And this is really pretty little um, 1949 calendar and a pretty little postcard like thing on the top. Um, this is the Happy Go Lucky Bubble Book. Maybe that's the spine. Oh, that's the other part of the back. Um, oh, it's a, uh, it's a storybook with a very damaged <laughs> record inside. That's a thick record. Looks like it only plays on one side. Kind of neat. Let's see. Copyright 1919. The Bubble Books. So it's got it's got two records in it. I wonder if it's just one song per per record, but anyway, that's kind of cool. Um, this looks like something somebody cut out maybe from a um, calendar. Some more photos. Um, oh, this is a postcard from um, a, a florist that we used to have here in town. Wonderful ways to use Texas grapefruit little recipe cards. Those are cute. I don't see a date. A uh, pamphlet on the Virginia Highlands. What is this? Um, air traffic control bulletin from 1966. Card from a motel. There's another copy of that same picture. Nixon's for vets. And oh, here's um, these are for Wrigley's spearmint gum. Interesting. Redeemable only by the person whom originally issued. Well, that's not me, so I guess I can't redeem them. 
Um, more photos. Here's a cabinet card. Look at that fabric, it's so pretty. Millie George, what a cute name. Let's see. The Home Friend Magazine. An inspiring story about Mrs. Thomas Edison. So this is in some pretty bad shape. It's from 1931. But I, I could probably use it in uh, collage. Ooh, I just tore it up. Yeah, I'll wait and go through that later. It's kind of making a mess. Making a mess too. Um, some people on a horse. There's a luggage tag for Sabina Belgian World Airlines. Um, a receipt maybe from a hotel. A Duncan satellite. Oh, this is the package off of a um, a yo-yo. A Duncan yo-yo was on here. That's cool. Um, a postcard. Dinky Toys Club. A little pamphlet for the Dinky Toys Club. You could join the club. Oh, and then you only have to pay 25 cents for the badge. You can be a part of the Dinky Toys Club. Look at those bathing suits. Isn't that incredible? These came out of a, a scrapbook. Let's see. I don't see anything on the back. I don't see a date or anything on the back. But look at those bathing beauties. So there's some souvenir cards from somewhere. Looks like the Rocky Mountains, maybe. Let's see. Stanley Hostess Customer Catalog. Oh, look at that. My mom had, or my grandmother, actually my grandmother had that hairbrush. That exact hairbrush. How cool. Oh, look at this stuff. So cool. Oh, look. Toilet brushes. They even made those look pretty. Aftershaves. Oh, that's a lint brush. <laughs> I thought it was a toilet brush. Yeah, I remember my grandmother's having uh, those kind of... There's the toilet brush and bathtub brush. So this is Stanley brand home products. Hmm. A shoulder shower set. So this has someone's name in it. Um, maybe it was a, yeah, there was a dealer. So it was like a multi-level marketing kind of thing, or maybe a door to door sort of thing. I don't see a year in it anywhere. Oh, 1959, there it is. Interesting. Sears and Roebuck, there's an envelope. Poor Sears, it makes me so sad that they're going away. The Great World's Fair at the Omnibus College. Let's see, that looks like part of a dust jacket from a book. This is an ad from the Dallas Morning News July 2nd, 1961. And there's some. Oh, look, Emilio Pucci. Get a Pucci dress. $115 from Neiman's. And there's a double collar pastel mink stole for $595. Very cool. I guess they wanted that interior design. 
Here's another Nixon's for Vets and a Nixon sticker. I love these surprises where I don't know what it is. Peerless Products, Agents Wanted. Hmm. Has some testimonies of how people like it. I'm not, not sure what that is. Here's a broken photo, 1920, and this is the Fort Worth Star-Telegram, the date is, the date is torn off there, I don't know if that's the year, 29? Oh, but it's got a Christmas thing going on. Santa says. And there's a Fort Worth record, June 14th, 1925. I'm not zoomed out far enough to show you this newspaper. This is huge. Pretty brittle. But that's cool. Um, Wilson Spice Company. Oh, isn't that pretty? That's pretty on the front and the back. To my Valentine. You're a cheapskate, all right. That's plain at first sight. And one of the trashiest kind. Oh, that probably has a terrible glare. One of the trashiest kind. Let's see what this says. But there are others not few, but one cheaper than you. Tould be hard monks the whole bunch to find. I think I totally butchered that, but. Okay, so this looks like it's a, a scrapbook. Um, maybe someone's trip. This looks like a trip to Italy. Oh, look at this hotel that they stayed in. This little booklet is beautiful. I wonder if I'll have any luck getting these things out. It's just postcards. Map of Italy. Bunch of receipts and some insect parts in there too. Oh, I guess these are for things they ate at the restaurant. Oh. Father Leopard Lord's Pilgrimage. That's at the Vatican. Oh, I've been right there. It's on, on the steps. These are just like little postcard type things. Looks like everything's glued down really well. And it looks like these are, this. these look like the Vatican. That looks like the Colosseum in Rome. Let's see if I saw a year or anything. It is nice that they only put stuff on one side of the page. Yeah, that's at the Colosseum. I guess they cut that out of something. It says the Vatican. Oh, it's from a magazine. More pictures at the Vatican. These look like the souvenir pictures, like the ones that you buy. Yeah. Of Rome. These are neat, I love these. I'll probably just have to cut out around the paper though. I don't think I'm gonna to try to take it off. So this is from the 50s, 1958. And they went to Assisi. A little map. Oh, I guess it was a bus tour. There's the bus and the view on the bus. And then, uh, 
Florence Ferenzi. And the hotel and the postcard. There's the Ponte Vecchio. Duomo. More souvenir cards of Florence. Then it looks like they went to Pisa. Hotels, postcards, gin. Let's see. Oh, the menu. Yes, July 1958. A cantaloupe glace. A sole of fish. Pula. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Neem. Oh, then they went to France. Mills Travel Tours. This looks like souvenir postcards. Interesting. Well, that was, I feel like I got a decent deal on this. It was $12 for the whole lot of stuff. So I think there was some cool stuff in there. I'll have to go through it again and sort it out. And then I also, at the same, not the same booth, but at the same place, uh, I got these three board books. Uh, and they're huge. They are... 10 by like 13 and a half, but they're board books. And I was kind of thinking uh, that I could use them for covers, maybe even cut them in half or I'm not sure. I just, I like board books to use as covers on journals. So I guess that's winter and fall. I love these kind of pictures and spring I'm assuming I didn't buy the one for summer for some reason the pictures just didn't appeal to me maybe because I don't like hot weather I don't know so I got those and then I got some other books I got this pretty dictionary it's in pretty good shape. Oh, look, and it has some color. It looks like it has color plates. I didn't realize it had some color plates. Game birds. Fur-bearing animals. Aw, poor animals. Yeah, not very many color plates. Butterflies. Fish. Oh, this looks like a fold out. Oh, flags. Fun with flags. So, a new dictionary. I got this craft book. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, this is the third printing, 1951. But the illustrations in here are so cute. Look, to make a doll cradle, soldier hat, a mainframe, a glider, toy buildings and toy animals. See, I buy things like this because I want to put them in junk journals, in journals, and then I can't cut them up. Like, there's no way I can cut this up. It's, it's beautiful. Well, there's that. And then I got a Howdy Doody little golden book. It doesn't even have a name in it. It's really delicate. 1951. Very cute but the pages are really delicate. 
and I couldn't resist this. Strawberry shortcakes cooking fun. I love strawberry shortcake. And this is 1980. Maybe I'll have to do a strawberry shortcake journal. Some really cute pictures. And then this is a textbook. 1954. So I really like I like these textbooks. I love the illustrations in here. The colors, the paper's nice. There again, though, this is another one that I probably won't be able to tear it up. It's so cute. And then two more books. I keep seeing everyone doing um, binder, um, cookbook and better homes, five ring binders and stuff. So I found this one. Um, it has the plastic behind here. Let's see, I don't know what year this is. Um, and the rings seem to open and close really well and they all close all the way so nothing gets stuck. This is 19, wait, 76? Yeah, 78. So I don't know, I, I have another one. I have a garden book with this type of, um, glare is bad, with this type of thing to, you know, to keep your pages out. And it's in great shape. I just don't know if I would still want it in there. Kind of has some, maybe some water damage on there, but it's, the binder's in good shape. And then I found this one. Ah, I was so excited. This one is the Souvenir Edition. And it's a gold um, Better Homes cookbook. So commemorat commemorating the sale of 10 million Better Homes and Gardens new cookbooks. So unfortunately the cover on this one is just, this front cover is just about to come off. The back's not too bad. Um, this one has gold rings. The binder portion is actually golden. And the, the inside there of that one, a little, this is pretty torn up. But the rings open and close. Look at that gold rings, fancy. This one had some love. Somebody used it. Oh, Divinity. Oh my goodness. One of my favorite candies ever. These pages are pretty, pretty brittle. Let's see. Uh, 65. Seventh printing. So, anyway, I was really excited. I'll have to do something to save this cover. But I would love to be able to do this book and not have to cover up too much of, you know, the spine and stuff. So I'm not sure how I could do that, how to fix it, rescue it. But anyway, so that was my little haul for today. Um, I also got some fabric and stuff, but I didn't bring it in here. So that's all. I just wanted to share. Y'all have a fun day. Bye.